uh, SIM rep does not need to reinvent itself. We just need to communicate better, market better, and tell more people. Um, because SIM rep, we have so many wonderful things, but the sad thing is that so many people don't know about it. So uh, good afternoon, uh, Mr. Chi, and uh, thank you for granting us uh, the opportunity for the interview here in uh, Simri province. Uh, uh, sir, in the next hour or so, there will be an, uh, an event yeah. uh, talking about you know, creating uh, a vision, a common vision for Simri, so, so one, uh, one vision uh, to, to, in order to promote the cultural tourism of the province. Uh. So uh, for you, sir, you work in the real estate company that aims to promote the real estate potential in Siem Reap, sir. So what, what is the meaning of a One Vision, One Cambodia based on your, your sector, so let's say? So the, the, I would call this the forum. Uh, yeah. It's basically called One Vision, One Siem Reap. Um, our role in this uh, forum is uh, once is that we are uh, the host in terms of providing facility for, uh, for, for people to connect uh, yes, and talk about um, their vision uh, of Siem Reap, which is I guess uh, the vision is that the people who come together to get today all love Siem Reap and they want to see Siem Reap uh, do a lot better. Yeah. Yes, sir. Um, but directly uh, how we uh, are making or we believe that we are making a difference is that um, at Rose Apple Square uh, we believe that we are providing a, a world standard facility uh, that is mixed use. Um, now I spoke to you before. Yes, sir. Uh, it's got a, a retail space, a office space, a residential space, yes, a service apartment, co-working, and co-living. Um, so that's something that is very attractive to a lot of expats. So we help uh, foreign businesses uh, come to the Cambodian market. Uh, we help promote Cambodia abroad uh, with uh, my CEO, Mr. Soris Mekebin and Madame Dara also, who's our business development manager. And uh, we help develop, yeah, make businesses uh, come to Cambodia market. So depending on the services and products, uh, they either go to Siem Reap or Phnom Penh. Uh, so if it's tourism, usually it's based in, uh, in uh, Siem Reap. Yes, correct. Uh, also other parts of uh, Cambodia, because you know as tourism developing also on the coastal area. So it really depends, but this what we're trying to do is uh, to promote the Cambodian market abroad and uh, help to attract uh, investors. Yes, sir. And, and what, uh, what business or what, maybe what kind of business have you been attracting uh, you know, for the past few years to Siem Reap? Yeah, so far uh, what I've been uh, attracted with my projects is in the sports industry. Like we have uh, Alcor who's uh, doing a stadium stands, yes, sir. grandstands. Oh. So we have, uh, like you know, some... Uh, stadium projects in development, so we're trying to place some products. Yes, sir. Uh, we're trying also in tourism, we're building uh, the Immersive Museum here. Mm, immersive Museum, the museum is, is still uh, going on now. It's still going on, yep, so yep. it's still pending, I cannot say more about it, yep, but yep, uh, yep. you can find a lot of information online, so where we're at the process. Yes, sir. What kind of sustainability act that you usually do in your hotel, and why do you think that it is important uh, for this event, the, the One Vision uh, One Team? Why it's important for this event? Yeah. It's because in this event there's a lot of people that we are networking together and we I can spread the word about how we run our hotels with uh, like with a focus on not using too much uh, unnecessary single-use plastic. So we have no single-use plastic amenities in the rooms, no plastic bottles, we sell no plastic bottles, no plastic straws and we are implementing many environmental initiatives in the running of both hotels. And I just want to talk about it tonight so that people can see that it's actually uh, benefiting everybody, not just only the environment, but also your business. A lot of people think that uh, it's expensive to, to turn into like, be more sustainable. And yes, it can be, but it will also give back to you because you will, people want to, people want, it's trendy to be sustainable. People want to travel, at least our, our guest houses, our hotels, they are very busy that we have been so full since uh, COVID opened up again. And this is because of most of our guests, they, they want to come uh, because they like our focus on the environment. So it's good for the environment, it's good for businesses, and it's good for this event because I want to show that everybody can actually be more sustainable. 
But so based on your example, uh, so you mean that before uh, this kind of, let's say, infrastructure, you know, the international, I mean, the infrastructure that matches the international need mm -hmm. is not really common in Siem Reap, let's say? In short, that is correct. Um, you know, we, we identify a need uh, to cater for, well, I would say we, we always, first and foremost, yes. uh, prioritise the needs of our local people. Mm -hmm. uh, we are ULS, we are 100% Cambodian com company. So everything we do um, is, is first and foremost is for our people first prioritising. Uh, but um, because of that, uh, we want to build international uh, standard uh, yes. development. Um, but because of, 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 of the level of quality, uh, the level of facility, and we are providing a unique space that hasn't uh, been built before in Siem Reap. Uh, we are finding that a lot of expats, uh, a lot of tourists are attracted to, to Rose Apple Square. Yeah. Yes, yeah. sir. So uh, if I would, would like to summarize a bit. So before, you might say, you know, in order to stay in Cambodia for an, an extended period of Siem Reap, for an extended period of time, people might rent, you know, a house yeah. from the local people, or maybe they might uh, rent, um, you know, uh, an hotel. Uh, 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 a hotel in, in general, so yeah. that makes them a bit difficult to live for a very long time. So your yeah. infrastructure aims to solve that problem, sir? We, we found a void in the market. Um, yes, sir. We're, we're not a hotel, um, yes, we're not a, um, a, your typical house. I think we're, we're a bit of both and that's yes, a, a sweet spot. Um, but also, uh, you know, Rose Upper Square tagline is live, work and connect. Mm -hmm. um, it's a little ecosystem within Siem Reap that, uh, that um, provides a, a very convenient space for, for people to, I guess, uh, want to live here, want to work here, and also want to connect here also. And, you know, part of the challenges uh, in Siem Reap or the tourism sector is that how do we keep people longer in Siem Reap? Right? I so, and yeah. I think we, we have built a facility, uh, we've developed this place uh, in such a way uh, that um, gives them reason to stay longer, I guess, yeah. Yes, uh, in terms of affordability aspect, in terms of location aspect, uh, in terms of convenient aspect. Yeah. So you cater not just the tourists, but for, for those who wish to work in Siem Reap, sir? We, we cater for, uh, we have a co-working space, yes, sir. Um, three floors, and I would have to say, um, if you haven't seen it, please go and see. I would have to say, uh, it's as good as anything uh, around the world. Mm -hmm. That's something we're, we're very proud of. So you can do many things here. Like I said, you can work here, you can live here, you can connect here, yes, sir. Um, many, many things. Uh, I personally live here, uh, but we also have uh, uh, tourists who stay here. Short term, we have many, many tourists who stay here longer term, you know, three yes, months, sir. six months, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, a mixed uh, group of people for different types of use. On, on your perspective, sir, I mean, what, what is the potential of Siem Reap, of course, besides tourism? What, what else do you see in Siem Reap, sir? For me, well, you will see my presentation. I yeah, put yeah. some examples. Uh, for me, I'll give you a bit of uh, feedback. I think the sports industry is really close related uh, to, the, to the tourism. Uh, all that missing is the sports infrastructure. Yes, the rest, we have the hotel, we have the gyms now, we have a lot of things. Uh, so all we're missing, there's the sports. Of course, esports is a, a kind of similar to sports. Digital sports. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, especially if we do a, a, similar, a smart city, yes, like sir. the government wants to do. Education, I think uh, with the young Cambodians like you, yes, I think it's really important to try to attract uh, international uh, education. Uh, so, for example, we know some education people like to do like six months here and six months abroad. Uh, I think it's, it can be a good uh, market for that in Siem Reap. Uh, yeah. Do you see that the uh, real estate sector in Siem Reap is getting on back on its feet again after you know several years after the pandemic? It is slowly, slowly uh, uh, getting back on its feet. Yes. Sir. Um, you know, some areas are doing well. A lot of areas are not. Mm -hmm. um, these kind of uh, um, events, the like COVID, that that uh, uh, what I would call. Um, um, maybe bit, not the right yeah, word, yeah. Uh, very catastrophic, what's the word, catastrophic yeah, uh, event. Catastrophic, yeah, um, yeah. It, it forced people to change also, mm -hmm. and what we find that 
the, the real, real estate developers or the hoteliers that can adapt, that can improve yes, uh, their standard, uh, their service, are the ones that are doing well. Uh, what I mean by that is that even now we are going through recovery stage. Yes, sir. You will find that some hotel, some business are actually doing really well, but a lot are not, right? So uh, the tourists, uh, um, uh, tourist customers, visitors, um, being more selective, and they are choosing uh, facilities or hotels that are, uh, you know, doing a better job. Yeah. Yes, sir. But based on going back to um, the main point of today's, uh, let's say, event, um, you mentioned, you know, one vision, one symbiote. So from your side, you work in real estate. And again, sir, to create like a, a common goal for, for something as big as a province, yeah. you need a lot of, uh, you know, cooperation and yeah. you need a lot of understanding. Yeah. So what are the other things, you know, more than just, uh, you know, real estate that, that demands to connect together in order to achieve the vision that you are looking for? Look, everybody has their part, yes, whether it's yes, real estate, yes. whether it's food and beverage, whether it's hotels, uh, yes. everybody has to uh, uh, adapt, yes. have to uh, do better, provide better quality of service, have to communicate better, have to market better. You know, I, I often say that um, uh, CM does not need to reinvent itself. Mm. We just need to communicate better market better and tell more people um, because Simrib we have so many wonderful things but the sad thing is that so many people don't know about it right and we have so many things to do but once again the sad thing is that so many people don't know what to do right? so how, how do they make how do you make them know <laughs> well, what was it a small yeah. part these types of forum um, the public sector the, the government sector uh, has to work together to market CM Rip better. Mm-hmm. Yeah, communicate and market and package CM Rip better. Yeah, CM Rip has everything already. Yes, it sir. just needs to be communicated Community. and market and package better. That's all. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you think uh, sustainability is uh, in what way that do you think it's an issue here in CM Rip? But how do you think uh, if it's an issue? But it is an issue. Is, uh, how do you stop? Oh, I think it's. It's, it's a very complex uh, issue, of course, um, because you see there's plastic pollution everywhere. Yeah. Um, and it's not too good like a recycling system here as well, but uh, there are more and more focus on it. But there's still a lot of unnecessary single-use plastic everywhere. So it's difficult, very difficult. Uh, but I also have to say that I'm from Norway. In my country, uh, they have very good uh, facilities where they pick up uh, the rubbish and everything. So you don't see the rubbish as, as much in the streets like you do here. You don't see nothing. It looks clean. It looks nice. But I have to say they are consumers also. So they buy a lot of things and they throw it away and somebody takes it away. There's just as much garbage there as it is here. But here you are faced with it all the time, which gives us an advantage because then people want to do something about it. You know, I think maybe, you know, maybe it can be even more difficult. For me, there's not a long way to go. There's just a few steps uh, to do, in my opinion. Uh, We're missing, if we compare to the Thailand market, which is close by, and the Vietnamese, uh, for me, there's a few things missing, especially airlines. Uh, We're kind of dependent on foreign airlines. It would be good to see a Cambodian airline that can go far away, not just to the Southeast Asia. Yes, sir. And uh, normally, uh, ho- what, what do you hope to achieve you know, after attending this event, sir? Because we try to create a one vision. So is, do, you, do you feel optimistic about having that vision, sir? Yes, I feel optimistic because CIMIP has a lot of potential. It's just starting to grow. Yes, uh, with COVID, it's also helped to digitalize everything, the technology to come and people to accept the dig- uh, technology. Because yes, it's kind of hard for change, right? Yes. People are not used to change. So I think, uh, yeah. We have a good potential and uh, I think we can make it just with a few steps and uh, uh, to keep going. We, well, look, uh, what we hope to achieve collectively uh, is that we want to keep this on the f- forefront. Uh, we, want this, uh, the, we want to remind the, the private sector and also the public sector uh, how important it is to, to, to keep the goal of marketing and communicating 
um, mm -hmm. about Siem Reap, about Cambodia, yes, uh, a lot better. Uh, we could not just do it one time, two times, we have to do it hundreds of times, a thousand times, all, all the time, all year long, and we yes, have to do it better. Yeah? And one of the things is that uh, I said to uh, one of the guys that we had a discussion is that we have to be clever about it. Mm -hmm. We don't have to market internationally. Yes, we sir. just have to market regionally. You know, Indonesia has 200 people. Vietnam has a lot of people, like maybe 70 million. So regionally, we have maybe half a billion. Just mm -hmm. target those people. You know, we don't need to compete against Thailand and target Europe, America. Uh, we don't need to compete against Japan and target. They've got unlimited funds. They've yes, got sir. unlimited reach. So we just need to be clever in terms of who we talk to, how we talk to, um, and how we spend the money. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. So it's still a long way to go, but still something that we need to do nonetheless. Yes, sir. It's a long way to go, but the key thing is that our customer is not that far away. It's actually, we need to focus on the customer that's around us, right? And why this is important is because of the, the cost of flights coming in mm -hmm. and the cost of uh, 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 the, our ability, you know, like if you're traveling from America, you yes, might sir. need to do two transit and Europe two transit. And that's not fun for anyone. But regionally, we can just do one flight, one, one, one direct, direct, direct flight. Direct. Yeah, yeah. So I think it's easier to start there and then build from there rather than try to get everybody. It's, it's, yeah, 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 yeah. So there's, there's like a, a certain path that needs to be taken first in order Correct. to add a, to, to, like a domino effect. Yeah. So, so yeah. Uh, in Western world or in sales, we, we have what is called the saying. Um, uh, but they, we call it the low, the low lying fruits. Mm -hmm. So the fruits that's already low on the tree, yep, yep, yep. and it's already tom. You know tom. Yeah, right, yes, right. Why don't we pick those first? Mm -hmm. and instead of trying to climb the tree and pick something that's so high up, right? There's a lot of low hanging fruits, and that's the region. And we should really focus and concentrate really hard on that that aspect.